What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Chris and this is my review of the PX24 Turtle Beach headset for your PS4, Xbox One, PC and your mobile device. Now I am using these mainly for the Xbox One but again my main focus is on console and focusing on the Xbox One. I'm pretty sure the audio quality is going to be as good for the PS4. I have no reason why it shouldn't be. Now, if you ever use a X12 or a PX22, the build quality and the headset itself is exactly the same, nothing different. It has mesh padding on the ear cuffs and on top of the headrest. It has 50 millimeter drivers. Uh, the mic itself is adjustable, but you cannot remove it. And you could monitor your, your, you could monitor your voice, but that is because of the mix amp itself. And this one just has a full black design with some white, like white little things right here on the little side and on the ear cup. It's more like a grayish, like a light, light gray. And it does have a 3.5 millimeter audio cable jack thing right here to connect to the mix app or any mobile device that uses. All right, so this is actually going to be the second part of your purchase. This is the mix amp. This is actually where the main audio settings and everything is going to come from. First of all, you have your little power button right there on the top. So you have to turn it off and turn it back on when you want to use it. Now this does have 30 hours of battery life, so it should last you a couple of weeks depending on how much you game. And this is because there's no USB port connected to your Xbox or PS4. So it makes it more wireless. Because again, this is the only cable connecting to your Xbox One and PS4 to give you chat and audio so there's no USB port connected and then you do have a micro USB this is how you're going to charge it the port is right there and the cable itself is somewhat long not too long as the controller is going to be in your hand and your overall control unit is going to be there for the volume now you do have different settings for the most part you want to make sure everything is maxed out the only thing you might not want to max out is the voice monitor system. This is so you can monitor your voice through the headset itself. That you control to your liking. Normally I keep it pretty high so this way when I'm talking I'm not shouting. And then you do have like you know your surround sound and your bass boost. And then this is your overall sound. Now here you have your superhuman hearing. What this is going to do is going to amplify all the sound on your headset. And this is great if you want to hear first depth, reloads a lot better. Now when you do get these, you may hear, hear like a hissing sound or like a buzzing sound when you have no audio coming through the headset. That's only when there's no audio. Once you put anything with any kind of audio, you hear nothing besides the game audio. So that's only when there's no sound. And then on the side right here, let me get that out of the way. You have for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. I play on the Xbox One, so I normally keep it on the Xbox One. And then lastly, you have your mute. Once you mute your mic, it also eliminates the voice monitoring system, so you can't hear yourself. So, and that's pretty much everything. Then on the bottom, right here, that is the auxiliary port. This is where you put your audio cable from your headset. And that's pretty much all you have. And now you're ready to go. You put this on your controller and you're good to go. Now the disclaimer I want to talk about, two things. Actually three things. First, on the previous PX22, you actually could connect your phone to be able to talk on the phone while gaming. So you have an like, auxiliary port for your phone and then this way you can connect your phone and talk on the headset on your phone while gaming. They eliminated that feature. The second thing they eliminated was the ability to actually control the audio of the chat. So this gives you an overall uh, control of the audio, but that includes the chat. So you manually have to change the chat audio on the Xbox One or PS4. So again, if you're a type of person who like to keep the chat audio low and the game audio high, now you have to manually do it on your console. If you are like me and you play on the Xbox One, you need to have the chat adapter because, again, the old Xbox One controllers do not have the auxiliary port. Now, if you have the current Xbox One controllers that come with the auxiliary, the auxiliary port built in, then this is not an issue. But realize, these are the PX24. These are made for PlayStation 4, but also work with Xbox One. 
So again, if you do have an old Xbox One controller and you do not have the adapter, these are not going to work for you. Alright guys, so what is my overall thought on the headset itself? Now, there are a few things missing, like I said, the ability to talk on the phone, the ability to actually um, control the audio of the chat, but that's really my only two gripes. I like the fact that it's rechargeable, so there's no need to put a USB port cable onto your console, so it eliminates a lot more cables. And for the most part, it's wireless. Um, you know, connect to the controller through a 3.5, connect your headset to the mix app, and that's pretty much about it. The cables are not too long because it's not necessary because you're going to be holding your controller. The build quality, I own the pair X12 and they lasted me two years before I gave them away so they never broke on me. So I have no issue with the build quality. The build quality feels exactly the same. Comfort is good, not the most amazing headset. I wore these for two hours in a live stream with no problem and they didn't need to take them off. Now the audio itself is amazing with the superhuman hearing, uh, being able to pretty much just put everything as high as you can. The monitoring your voice itself, the audio on that, you could like, you know, customize it to your liking. But all in all, for 80 bucks, for the comfort, the sounds, the features, the nice little mix amp, uh, I give it a thumbs up. Just two things I kind of wish they would have put, there was no need to eliminate. But all in all, still a great headset. If you plan to get these for Christmas, uh, I recommend you asking your parents or getting it for yourself. But thank you for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. And like always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>